This build came in two flavours, really interesting and really tedious. I'm going to need another shelf. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here we talk about Lego set news, reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. This set, named The Child, was released in October 2020. It has an item number of 75318 and has 1,075 pieces. This set just retired at the end of 2023, but some stockists may still have him. And of course, secondhand marketplaces do exist. In this video, we'll look at the packaging and contents, the details, including the minifigure, the build experience, price, and my overall thoughts. As this is prior to Grogu's name being revealed, the set simply calls him the child. In this video, I will be calling him Grogu, but in real life, I often call him Baby Yoda, so I can't promise that hasn't slipped into this video. If that's a problem, please file a complaint with my Grogu army. The box for this set is a little larger than you might expect considering the size of the model. The box is pretty nice. We've got the child on there with a nice Star Wars themed background. Plus there's even a little Mandalorian in the corner. The back has an image of everything you're getting, including the plaque with the minifigure and the razor crest knob. It also shows some of the articulation points, which is actually a really nice touch, as well as the dimensions. Let's open it up. There are eight bags of pieces a single instruction booklet, and a sticker for the plaque. The set does have a QR code so you can earn insider points. The instructions are decent. As this set is aimed at those aged 10 and above, the steps are broken down really well and they're easy to follow along. Once built, Grogu is about 21 centimetres high or about 8 inches. That's a pretty good height. He is quite heavy at around 1.2 kilograms, but he's made of over a thousand bricks, so he was never going to be the lightest set ever made. His outfit has a lot of texture and shape to it. He has a lot of articulation points, including his hands, his head, his ears and his mouth. He has printed eyes which look really effective. They are the only printed pieces in this set. There's a simple but effective stand for the plaque and figure. The plaque is a sticker which is a shame but I don't think I did a horrible job of placing that. If I did I think I'd be more annoyed about it being a sticker. Looks like Lego might be changing this for future models though. The 2023 Chewbacca's plate was printed and not a sticker. The information on the sticker doesn't tell us much beyond his age and height. The favourite toy bit is cute though. The set comes with a tiny Grogu figure. He's adorable. This is the same Baby Yoda we've seen before in the Mandalorian sets. He sits nicely on the stand. This build came in two flavours, really interesting and really tedious. There are some fun building techniques in Grogu's head, but his outfit was quite painstaking. Bag 1 builds the internal structure. Bags 2, 3, 4 and 5 build the outfit. Bag 6 creates his hands and bag 7 and 8 create his head and the small plaque. The Technic structure that will hold Grogu's outfit and support his head is a relatively simple structure as far as Technic goes, as the only moving part it's going to accommodate is the head. Still, it's interesting. 
The outfit is made of numerous plates with small pieces placed on them. There are four sides to this outfit. You'll need to pay attention during these stages, as due to the single colour and irregular pattern, it's a little harder to see placement and it's easier to make mistakes. I think my eyes or brain adapted at some point though, as the first side felt incredibly boring, but by the fourth side it was alright. I was glad to move on to the hands and head though. The arms and hands come in their own bag. Despite these being relatively small, they had some fun techniques with snot bricks to create the shape. Here you'll also add the ball socket for the articulated hands. Bag 7 and 8 were my favourite to work on. There is some really clever stuff happening here. The ball is placed for the socket built in step 1, which will be his neck. Then you'll build the underlying structure and add clips for his ears to attach to. Unlike building something like brick heads, where you tend to build the head from the neck up and use snot bricks to add facial and hair details, Grogu's is built up horizontally, so you are building from his brain forward and adding the facial features on top. His face is formed with lots of curved flat pieces to give it the shape, which I'm really impressed with. His eyes fit nicely into the socket, so you get an angled look, which is great. The instructions confused me a little here, but when I did it wrong the first time, it made sense the second time. His mouth is on a hinge, so it has a little bit of movement. Great for eating. His ears are more complex to build than they look. Those were great fun and I love the range of motion they have. You'll close off the back of his head using clips. That's a nice little build technique to achieve that. And then you'll add the top of his head too. In bag 7 I was left with two 2x1 plates. These two 2x1 plates are extras. The benefit of recording my builds is that I can check if I missed a step without disassembling the whole thing. It's weird to get additional 2x1 pieces so that did throw me, but it appears as though others online have found the same thing with this set. The stand is simple to build and the clips allow for the plaque to have a nice angle to it. This originally retailed for £79.99 in the UK, $89.99 in the US and €89.99 in parts of Europe. For 1,075 pieces, that's not terrible, but there are a lot of small pieces and there are only two printed pieces for the eyes and a sticker for the plate, but you are paying for the Star Wars name too. I did get mine in a sale from Amazon, so I paid a little under £50. That's about 63 US dollars or about 58 euros, which I think was a great price. While this wasn't my favourite build, I'm really happy with the final model. He is adorable and looks exactly how I'd expect the Lego Grogu to look. He feels really sturdy and he has a good amount of posability to him and he doesn't feel like he's going to fall apart easily either. If you're a Grogu fan, this might be one to get if you don't already have it. I'm very glad to have him in my Grogu army. I'm going to need another shelf. Well, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more LEGO content. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!